Hey everyone, Madman here, and welcome back to Let's Play... Yeah, eh, no, that's technically correct. <laughs> I never really ended this series. I'm the Madman, and welcome back to Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization Revolution. Yes, the game that you guys have been really demanding for a long time, especially uh, one viewer, actually. Uh, but first, let me just go to the uh, menu screen while I fish out my um, cell phone. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I know about the downloadable content. Okay. Yeah, one particular viewer I was actually talking to today about uh, doing about these videos. Uh, let me just. Um, yeah, now I get a notification from Twitter. Uh, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Oh yeah, border apps, border border apes at uh, border apes. Yeah, border apes a p e x. Uh, hope I think I pronounced that wrong. I apologize. No, actually, you know what? I'll s okay, yeah, my phone is already. There we go. Sorry about that. <sighs> I had to make sure my phone was set to vibrate. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, yeah, so let's um, let's continue with the uh, Sinmire Civilization Revolution. I forgot what series number. Uh, new game, and we'll be doing this on King difficulty as usual. Ah, Isabel the Spanish. I already did you. Yeah. And we'll be doing this as Catherine of the Russians. Yes, because everyone has been asking me to do a Let's Play uh, for Domination Victory as the Russians. Originally, I was trying to avoid doing that because I did not want to be responsible for starting World War III between the United States and Russia, especially what's been going on in, obviously, that part of the world. However, with the recent events that I've been hearing about between North Korea and the movie The Interview... Apparently, if that movie gets released, North Korea will respond hostile. So I figure, why not? Yeah, let me throw my playing card into starting World War III. <laughs> uh, Catherine of the Russians. Uh, actually, I did do a little history on this one. Hopefully, I'll probably... Because some people were complaining about that. But from what I remember from White Fox 5, she belonged to a royal family. I'm guessing, obviously, since she's in this game, she was well-respected and a great leader. All right, hopefully in the next episode... Uh, well, at least the next, not the next episode, because I'm trying a new system of recording and editing. So eventually, I'll throw in, you know, my two cents about my little history lesson on her. All right, but still, Catherine of the Russians. In the ancient era, we get plus one food from the plains, so that's actually pretty beneficial. Uh, new defense units receive loyalty in the medieval era, which is that's really good, especially when we get the modern soldiers. Industrial era half cost on riflemen, and during the modern era, half cost off spies. Hmm. So pretty much in the uh, earlier eras, they're really, really beneficial. And then near the end, it's kind of, eh. All right, the Russians also begin a game with a local area map, which I have no idea what it means. I think it means you pretty much begin with, uh, what I remember, I think it's you begin with three cities, so that's an advantage. Or you just, you can see the surrounding areas very well. Uh, special units are the Cossack Horsemen, which I'm guessing is the uh, regular horsemen, just upgraded. And the T-34 Tank. Which is really good, especially since tanks are pretty much the best uh, assault uh, uh, unit in this game. All right, enough yapping. Let's go. So, yeah. I'm finally breaking down to doing the Russians. It's going to be a while before I do Rome or the Indians. So, don't, don't. I'll probably save those two for, like, absolute last. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I swear if they, they appear in one game where I have to fight both of them, I swear to God, I have no idea what I'll do. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, sorry about that. Hold back a little burp right there. Up. Uh, so this is... Hey, we got a temple right there. And, hey, I found Edgar. No, that's an oxen. But, um... Ooh, this seems like a good area. You know what? I got an idea. What about right? I mean, hmm. wait, is that? Yeah, that's considered a plain terry. You know what? Yeah, let's settle here. The city of Moscow, founded in 4000 BC. Moscow. Good song by Rammstein, in my opinion. Actually, underrated, in my opinion. All right, let's go explore. And we found a barbarian village right off the bat. Yeah, we barbarians laugh at your excessive height 
and need for culture. You'll soon feel the sting of our pointy blowguns. Yes, I've read this. I got a feeling it's going to get to a point where I just know that whole entire speech by heart. Well, that guy is a certified badass. I mean, he had darts in his chest, and he managed to take out all three all by himself. And, uh, okay, that village gave us practically nothing. Just 50 gold. Okay, we're going to heal you up. We're going to have you go north. Okay, but in the meantime... Okay, let's... Um, production, not really... Hmm... Okay, you know what? We'll have you focus on food for now. Let's build you up. Wait a second. Hold on a sec. Uh, you know what? Let's have you focus on... Oh! What if I have you put you on... You know what? We'll have you on science for now. Heal you up. Bronze work. I always start with bronze work. And Tokugawa, Tokugawa of the Japanese. Yes, we'll have peace. Because Japan gives me gives us anime. That makes them one of the most awesome countries on the face of the earth. And we have another barbarian village. Mm. Ooh, sulfur too. I want to actually, I want to plant a city like right here, right on the coast. <laughs> I'll take a walk with you. Oh, oh shit, there are cities right next to mine. Don't mind me, we're going south. We got a, uh, we got uh, a, uh, trade. And Egypt, the Egyptians have a wealthy city in the vicinity. Hmm, which one can give me the most? Yeah, Thebes. Congratulations, you become my scouting class. Yeah, Cleopatra, the Egyptians. And in my opinion, one of the, can I say this? One of the. You know, I'm not going to say, I was going to say she's one of the sexiest women in this game. So, you know what? I said it. Whatever. It's out there. Of course we'll have peace. And, uh, yeah, here's some traders here. Okay, you know what? Um, you know what? Yeah, stop building uh, units. Instead, build a wonder. Something to build. You. you know what? Yeah, build a great lighthouse. It'll give you something to do, and... Yeah, I'll give you something to do. Mm. Can't go this way, at least until I build a boat. Mm. Let's see, is there... Okay, there's more land over here. Good. Yes, trade with them. There we go. And total profit 50. So, th all right. Yeah, I think the traders are the most underused unit in this game. Hey, we got a settler unit for even... Oh, diamond. You know what? On second thought, I think I know how to make a gold city. Uh-oh. I think I see Greek. Oh, why do I have to fight the Greeks? They're my bros. And now we have bronze work. Uh, alphabet. <laughs> and we found uh, some... You know what? We'll just you know what? I can't. I don't know any of those locations, so we're just gonna call it the uh, flat uh, uh, flat plains. 
You know why? Because they're flat. But we got diamond here. Okay, gems. Hey, Alexander the Greeks. What's going on, man? How's my favorite bro? Oh, man. Why do I have to fight him? Me and him are bros. We go way back. You know what? I'm just going to stand right on top of this hill right here. Ooh, hello. Do we have a path that's leading? Ah, we do. There we go. Yeah, we'll settle a city right here. Put you right here. Hmm, maybe not. Hmm. If we do that, there's no good resources here. And we need the city to expand, so you know what? Up on this hill. There we go, that'll work. Um, Novogora, awesome city of Rostov. I'm pretty sure someone who speaks Russian is probably screaming at my computer computer monitor saying I'm mispronouncing him, so, yeah, I'm sorry. Rostov, you know, let's go with that. And this city will soon become my gold city. Or should I say gem city. We need a boat to get across there. Alright, but first, uh, alright, but first, we population growth, you know what, focus on getting some food, then we'll get our, uh, warriors up there. What should we build there? Uh, yeah, barracks. Um, I gotta, I gotta give them something so they at least stop. You know what, build some archers. And we'll get my, uh, units up into the city. All right, let's uh, have my men continue going this way. <laughs> it just says flat. <laughs> yes, that is flat. And now we have the alphabet. Um, pottery. And we found another barbarian village. Jeez, that one's just a certified badass. Okay, yeah, cultural victory. Yeah, Cleo, uh, the Egyptians in each game, they start off with one wonder right off the bat, so. So, yeah, that's how they pretty much have the lead. Uh, maybe, And I have a lead in the economic victory, technology. We're a little behind the Japanese. So far, we don't know who the other uh, civilization will be. I'll be surprised if it's, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it's India, because, you know, it seems like in every other game, India just pops up. And now we have uh, pottery. Um, yeah, get ceremonial burial. We need to get the culture flowing. Yeah, we just saw that a little while ago. Thanks for the update. And we got another trading squad. And still nothing. Man, there's nothing around. You know what? Yeah, go to Athens. And we got some archers growing. That's good. I don't care. Mm. Let's go this way. I wonder how, how this city's going. Eh, Alright. You know what? Um, yeah, you know what? Let's put you back to balance for now. So far, n still nothing around here. 
I think we're on a small landmass too, because I mean, I already found. I mean, there's one capital city, and there's the other. Where's? I'm pretty sure the Japanese capital city is probably in this area. The only question is, where's the other? Uh oh. Um, what the hell are they trying to do? You know what? I'll put them right here. I want to see. Well, yeah, now I can see them. Maybe I should go for an uh, economic victory with the Russians. I mean, we're already... Hmm. Man. Egypt's culture is really expanding. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. This city is three. That one's five. That one's two. It just got made for some reason. And four. Yeah, well, can. I don't think. I, well, at least those Japanese warriors are gone. I don't know what they were planning. And we have Solomon. Wait, is he a great general? Oh, he's a scientist. Uh, you know what? How are we on that study? Yeah, I'm gonna waste a great guy who's gonna be unlocked right next turn. And now we have Sarah Burial. Uh, you know what? I got an idea. Uh, let's see. Horseback riding leads to knights. Ironworking leads to that. Yeah, I actually joined up. Actually, applied to join the Iron Workers Union a little while in June. Still waiting for that interview. I'm planning. Actually, I'm planning to actually sign up for the Ma uh, Cement Masons uh, Union soon. Okay, you know what? Um, you know what? Yeah, let's get writing. And let's play this card. And there we go. Exalted. We our wise men have discovered the secret. The secrets of writing. And we have a sp spy built in Moscow. Ah, the beginning of the KGB. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. Um, game? Hello? Oh, thank you. Uh, for a second there, I thought I had... Uh, uh, you know, I'm not doing that uh, di assume direct control thing. But I do have to reset what I'll be researching, though. Oh, jeez. Look at some of these... Uh, um, hmm, hmm. you know, I get horseback riding. <laughs> All right. Form an archer army. Okay. Start building it. You know what? Build a temple. Wait, can they attack me from? Oh, no, no, they can't. Ooh, now we get uh, new defensive units receive loyalty. Uh, no, I'm good. Hmm, you know what? Maybe after I build that Semeril, that I'll... Uh, uh, damn you! Well, you know what I just realized? My Even Moscow does not have a defensive a single unit in its city, except for the spy. So I'm sending those troops back there. Hmm. I wonder what the Greeks are planning. Kyoto has been working as, as a, oh yeah, the capital city. Oh, how are we in fourth? Oh well, we got the great li lighthouse of Alexandria now. Okay, you build a temple. Temples for everybody. Don't worry, people. I got a temple coming. And now we have horsemen. Uh, get masonry. 
And my citizens are now merely uncivilized. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, is that Memphis? Is that, is that actually how it's pronounced Memphis? Or is it pronounced Memphis or actually Memphis? Like the actual city in Tennessee, the city in Tennessee. Either way, though, Cleopatra is, the Egyptians are really, s okay, you know what? Buy that temple. I don't like how that, my city's getting like that. I want to consume it with culture. I think that's how that city's going to win. Either that or gold. Yeah, we just buy our victory. You know what? Uh, get some. Yeah, get some archers going. What if I put you on production. Hmm. Hmm. Boy, I'm torn. Food, production. Hmm. We'll put you on balance. Just like a balanced breakfast. <laughs> Do they get loyalty? No, they don't. Jeez, more settlers, man. Egypt is expanding like crazy. Oh boy, are the are the Greeks in Egypt gonna clash? Um, uh, they are going for a technology victory, but you know what? Yeah, yeah, it seems like a fair exchange. You, you've been cool with us. <laughs> and thank you, great leader, for not stabbing my uh, head scientists in the back of your swords. Thank you very much. I kind of need them. At least now we have iron. You know what? Buy that. Get a library going. And now my people are civilized. Yay! And Bismarck are the Germans. Wow! Let's uh, let's play Civilization Revolution without uh, Gandhi or Caesar. That is that is honestly a tr that is amazing. Yes, greetings from Bismarck of the Germans. Most lowered madman. How wonderful to meet you at last. Yes, I accept your hand in peace. Ah. Uh, so let's see here. We have Egypt. Gr we have Egypt. We have the uh, Egyptians, the Germans, the Greeks, and the Japanese. And the Ru hmm. I wonder, if, depending on what great leader you choose, is the people who are wait. Because I know at one point, well, obviously Germany and and G any. Uh, why am I trying to figure out this game's logic? Uh oh. Are the Greeks and the Germans gonna? No, no, they ran. And there we go. The reason why you want loyalty is loyalty gives you a nice defense boost. Which I'm got a feeling this city's going to need a lot of. And now we have masonry. Ah, uh, jeez. We're going to need a lot of technology. I mean, a lot more science. Hmm. Uh, I think I got a plan. The first, um, hmm. construction. And now my people are sophisticated. Good. And my city's definitely expanding. So, you know what? I got an idea. You know what? Buy that. Get a settler going. I'm, pl I'm planning to build a science city. We'll plant it right here like I originally planned. It's got some trees for production, the ocean for... Or maybe I'll... 